Welcome to reactor question of the week, my first issue. My name is Dietrich Pank and um, I will try to give answers from the forum uh, in my way. So my uh, inspirations, my, my ideas um, to inspire you and maybe there is some interesting stuff for you. I hope so. And uh, you understand everything <laughs> what I'm talking about. The first question I want to um, uh, describe my ideas is from Matt Mauer. The question is, how do I make some really good crackling noises? This uh, concerns the old record noises and even the Edison tube also. Um, so it's not only the crackling noises, also the uh, filtering and the noise of the record and this distortion of the voice. I prepared some um, some ideas. I just built and collected many uh, macros. In fact, it's a series of uh, macros. Uh, what is also needed to be something interesting or simulating this record. Okay, um, I switch to the sound. Stock und Boot steht im Boot, ist gar wohl gemut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei. Okay. So, I switched everything off and I'm back to normal sound. You see, everything is done in macros and every macro I can switch off. Something basic is the noise floor, you see. Um, it's just done by simple making noise and what goes through a filter basically let's uh, cut the LFO first and switch it on so you hear a band pass I often use the band pass in this um, theme here Tja, it's easy okay then let's uh, talk about the LFO for the LFO, I did some special LFO. This is the normal LFO. The amplitude is uh, one, and the width, uh, the the yeah phase width can be uh, adjusted. And I set it to one, so this tree becomes a sawtooth wave. I have. A small test scope. scope. Uh, every, uh, th this ensemble I will upload and you can uh, check this details by yourself. Here, now you see the um, the sawtooth of the LFO. Let's turn the sound down. So this uh, is now from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 plus. And I'm going into another macro, what is an, uh, contains an event table. This event table, first I move the phase to 0 to 1, so adding a 0 0.5. And this event table is an, um, an um, wait interpolated one. First I want to show you okay where it is. Here. So here's the meter, you can see it well. This uh, LFO shaped form I use to manipulate 
the cutoff frequency. Now we can hear the result. Yeah. Makes it more like a record. The speed, okay, let's talk about the speed here. RPM rounds per minute. I thought this may be the record speed. Um, this is, I need a frequency and I just need to uh, set this value divided by 6t and I get the correct frequency for the record. I remember 30 was a long play record, correct me if I'm wrong, 45, uh, at least in the GDR, it was a single and there sometimes there was a 60 for long records I don't know I don't know so I keep it at 30 and um let's go to the next um stuff here I prepared a crackle what was the first approach to be honest um the Geiger produces uh, random timed events and clicks. I sent this through, through several randomizers and also an envelope of course um, to produce the crackles each um, something unique for each trigger. So we hear it already. Let's bypass the filter. So this part is the filter I don't use now. Um, yeah, you should try the fil uh, Geiger by yourself. Just making create control and uh, here the directly the clock. It's so nice. So so zero is full random. One is full regularly. What we hear now is also a randomized um, noise. So this is not totally uh, clean, this signal. Anyway, some very slow. This is in, in pitch. What is when a zero is 8.1 hertz. So it should be pretty slow. Now we have some yeah, random clicks. Uh, amplitude, can you see? Yeah, this is also randomized by the amount of amplitude itself. So it comes, uh, so it randomizes from zero to the full amplitude or to the dupled amplitude, anyway. Um, and the decay is run, can run, be randomized what has not so really cool results I found. It sounds like smacking, patching, touching, anything. So I kept it as very small. To be honest often I keep this this way. And I added a uh, filter of course to simulate higher and lower knacks here now yeah, this randomization is pretty clear I uh, cho can choose between two uh, modes of the filter uh, yeah. that's it let's go to the next um, part of this ensemble noisify input yeah noisify input I'm talking through reactor here. We have the uh, level meter and now let's talk about this noisifying. It's also a really easy effect. I have a noise. Go back to this clean sound. This noise just goes through a bandpass again and the effect is just to multiply the input 
with this noise, so the noise becomes totally fucked. One, two, three, four, five, and so. So now we can simulate even an ring modulation by having high resonance. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Okay. This is the noisify input. Yeah, this makes the um, needle very dirty. Yeah, dirty is the best word for this. Let's go to the quake. <laughs> um, this is the part making the sound just bad. Dirty. This, this, that's all. This is a two-pole band pass before and a four-pole band pass behind. And um, a drive. The drive is only a saturator. This was a, um, um, a parabole limiter um, with uh, strongly amplified input so I drive it by 20 decibel and the saturator still um, keeps a certain limit but a soft limit like this shows here yeah then going to a second second filter then it makes this typical bent limited noise um, sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sole mio. Something like this. Okay. This is, I think, something of the center part. If nothing is good, this always sounds like a record. Old, old um, shell, shellac record. Then I Let's go back here. I added another small effect to simulate the needle on the record while it's turning not directly in 90 uh, degree so that it sounds it gets a certain yeah kind of flange. Let's add noise here. And you can hear it's regular because I also adapted, uh, um, connected the LFO to this sound. Uh, oh well, yeah. So yeah, I think. It's, it's kind of needed. It's a typical effect of an record, of an old record. <laughs> Bad record. Or nowadays, maybe. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's all. It's a delay with a small amount of time. This is milliseconds, what you see here. And uh, this is parallel to the input added together so that it gets phase problems. No, yeah, it sounds like this. That's um, fine. Okay. I didn't describe everything yet, but I won't now because it's getting far too long. Um, there are two macros I could describe if I would be prepared better. Uh, this advanced crackle uses a slow random, two slow randoms <laughs> and mixes them in a crackle, kind of crackles. Sounds like this, I can uh, run it 
behind I'm describing the other. Mode delay is um, uh, simulates the motor uh, oscillating random oscillating motor speed. I uh, yeah, maybe if you like, I can uh, explain my um, structure. The louder limiter is a standard macro I often use to yeah to limit or to push the maximum volume. Uh, I not plan to describe it in this case. Maybe if you like, I can also explain the functionality of this. So I keep it short. Say goodbye and maybe we hear and see as the next question of the week for reactor. Bye-bye.